Well, in this segment, we're going to talk about internal engine components and the different types of components you need to really make an engine strong enough to withstand a big shot of nitrous. Of course, we already said earlier, if you have a stock engine and you're running a moderate amount of nitrous that's within reason of what the engine can handle, you don't need to do any of this. But if you're going to hit the racetrack or you're going to go out and blow your buddy's doors off or something like that, uh, and you're really going to hit some good juice to it, you're going to need to upgrade some parts, and that's what we're going to talk about in here. Let's start with the blocks first. Right here we've got two different engine blocks. This one right here is just your typical small block Chevy, just nothing fancy. Um, this is a four bolt main block, and we're going to explain what that is, because I know some of you out there don't know what a two bolt main block is or a four bolt main, so I'm going to show you right here. It's real simple. This is where the crankshaft rides in the, in the holes right here. The crankshaft runs long ways inside the block. These are the main caps that run all the way along here. Okay, it's real simple. Four bolt main blocks have four bolts holding the main caps on. One, two, three, four. Real simple. Okay. Um, obviously on, on Chevrolets and, and some factory blocks, they do have a two bolt cap on the very end on the front side up here. And on the very back cap back here is also a, four, a two bolt cap. But the center caps are four bolts. Now obviously you can buy a race block or an aftermarket block like a Dart or a Ford Motorsport or a World Products or any of the good blocks, Donovan, I mean there's all kinds of good aftermarket blocks. Um, and those obviously are going to have the four bolt caps and everything's going to be super duty, super strong. I'm just talking about stock blocks right here, something that's reasonably priced that the majority of you would probably be using out there. So a four bolt main, that's basically all it is, just means there's four bolts holding the main caps in. And what holds the crankshaft in? The main caps. So you know, there's just twice the clamping power or twice the clamping forces holding the main caps in. Let's look at a Ford right here. This right here is a 460 based engine, it's a 545 cubic inch uh, stroker that we we're building for a, a customer of ours. Um, this one is a Ford block, factory Ford blocks are two bolt mains, almost all of them are. The only, the only ones that came four bolt mains from the factory were the Boss blocks, Boss 302s, Boss 429s, Boss 351 Clevelands, stuff like that. Those are pretty far and few between, it's like trying to find a chicken with lips, they just almost don't exist, okay, especially in the normal performance world out there, you're just not going to find them every day. So we're talking about your typical standard blocks, everything from a 289 to a 302 to a 351 Windsor, a standard 351 Cleveland, all your 429, 460 blocks, all that stuff, they're all two bolt mains, okay? Um, so you might think, well geez, a two bolt main is not as strong as a four bolt, and a lot of people think that, and that's wrong. There's other factors that become involved with that. One thing is, let's look at this, look at the size of this main cap right here. This is a monster. Another thing is, th these are studs, and the stud size on here are half inch. The stud size on that small block Chevy right there, 7 16 they're a lot smaller. You've got one that's the size of my middle, uh, my finger here, and you've got one that's the size of my little finger. Okay, so I mean the Chevys have a little, little bolt and the Fords have a big one. So maybe it's only two bolt main, but the, the studs or the bolts holding it in are a lot bigger, and the main caps are a lot bigger and stronger. So there's, it, there's always a give for a take. It just depends on what you're looking at. So you always have to compare apples to apples and oranges to oranges. So a lot of people say, oh, Chevys are a lot stronger because they have the four bolts and Fords don't. That's not true. So we're looking at something like this. I mean, this thing right here, like I say, it's 545 cubic inches. It's got a billet steel crankshaft in it. It's got 6.7 inch long H-beam rods, 4340 steel H-beam rods, JE pistons. I mean, it's got the whole, whole works, the solid roller camshaft. It's an animal. But you might be noticing something on here that a lot of times you don't notice. This has a billet main support. Uh, these things right here are designed for the Ford motors. They're, they make them for other motors also, but Fords mainly because what it does is it ties all the main caps together. So yes, it's a two bolt block, but yes, it's stronger because the main caps are bigger and the studs are larger, but this girdle right here, some people call it a, a girdle, but it's really a main support. It ties all these together. So really what kills a, a, an engine is main cap walk and block deflection. And that just means the block flexing as you're, as it's making all the power, you're on wide open throttle and you got the nitrous on or you got a supercharger or something like that and a blocks, you get deflection, it's moving. Or main cap walk and that's when these main caps on here start wiggling back and forth. Well, there goes your main bearings, okay? Just because of wiggle. Well, what happens is this main support ties them all together. So if this one right here wants to try and wiggle, it's got to try and wiggle all these others also. Not going to happen because the load is changing throughout the crankshaft as every fire, the load's changing on the